Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, we're doing another experiment today. Uh, this is um, the replacement of Manuel Pellegrini at West Ham, which I think happened a week or two. Um, I think it happened just before United Emery at Arsenal. Um, so we will be doing that one as well. I'm not sure which is coming out first, so you may have already seen that. I'm not too sure. Um, so we're just going to take a look at you know Manuel Pellegrini, what he's going to do when he comes in at West Ham, I think. No, we, we didn't add the... Um, promoted and relegated teams in this i'm doing one of those as well so again you may have seen it already you may not have i'm not sure which order they're coming out depends on the order i get to uh, simulate them and record them in because i have done some of them but i need to redo them uh, we are going to try and make these videos sort of quite short and snappy um so i'm realizing that i'm already waffling on so we'll get into this uh, already so Manuel pellegrini yeah he's joined uh, obviously previous man city manager i think he won the league there didn't he possibly i can't i can't really remember his spell that well uh but he's been at well he's been in China I think for a couple of years and he's now back in the Premier League with West Ham. Obviously let go of Moyes and uh, probably wise decision. Uh, and Pellegrini he's about as probably good a, an option as they could have got really. Uh, you know very good manager. We've sort of got pedigree in most jobs he's done. He's got pedigree in England in the Premier League as well. He knows the league. He knows the format. Uh, they've got players like Zabaleta who obviously he worked with at Man City. So there's a good base of players there. So we're just going to have a look at. Um, who he might bring in uh, if he's still in a job at the end of the season you know has he, he's a big name in a smaller club but on reputation as it stands in this game so is he still there uh, how did they do compared to you know expectations that sort of thing who they brought in did they manage to have a good cup run um, did he bring his own staff in it's just always something that's quite interesting to see but we'll we'll jump into it right now so First of all, we'll just go to West Ham. There they are. So they did survive. Uh, he is still in a job. Uh, that 19th made me jump a little bit, but it's because we've gone into 30th of June, and it, that's now technically the next season. So we will go to the Premier League. Scroll back. How did they do? 13th. Not amazing. Um, fairly well clear of releg the relegation places. What's that? Uh, about seven points clear, is that? Just to try and do some... Where are they? They're on 43. So, for, yeah, seven points clear of relegation. Minus 13 goal difference, which isn't great. Let's have a look how the season preview stood. Is this... Is this last season? Is this this season? I mean, I think it is. I think we've, I think we've missed the season preview. I don't think we can look at last seasons. No, we can't. So... Yeah, thirteenth, not amazing, but they survived. That's the main thing. You know, it gives him a season to sort of try and put an imprint. And we are only doing these little ones for one season. The Unite Emery one, we are doing over three seasons. Um, just to go a little bit more in depth. You know, Arsenal are my main team, so a bit more vested interest in myself. If you do want to see uh, a scope of the Pellegrini one into maybe two, three seasons, let me know. Uh, I can always do that. That's not a problem, but see what he did um, so he's still in the job we know that we know his league position uh, Bournemouth Swansea Huddersfield relegated Man United champions that happens quite a lot and uh, let's see how he got on in his other competitions so we go to the schedule we'll start with the Carabao Cup <laughs> not great knocked out to Southend in the second round 2-1 uh, Sergio Oliveira playing so either he's a new signing or he's a young player he's on loan okay so didn't have a fantastic season. He got the goal in that game, but first minute they lost a goal and the 27th minute they pulled one back but couldn't get it all the way back. So not a great cup run in the Carabao Cup. Not sure how serious they were taking that. Pretty serious. I mean, there's there are a few young players in and some different players I don't know there who could be signings, but it's not a first team by any stretch of the imagination. And the FA Cup is the only other competition they were in and they got to the cup final in this one. So they beat Sunderland in the third round. Uh, they managed to have to go to a replay to beat Burton in the fourth round. Uh, take On the away leg, actually, uh, winning 3-1. And then they beat Wolves in the fifth round. Good win there. They actually beat Man United in the sixth round. Uh, let's have a quick scroll through the, the goals and see who's doing what. So Lloyd Dyer own goal. Antonio got a goal. And then Darren Bent at Burton. Uh, that wasn't leveling up. It was actually an own goal. West Ham levelled on the 87th minute. And then in the away leg, Marvin Sordell... Um, Sordelino, I think it's Proudy calls him. Uh, then we've got o Obiang and Altovic. Georgios Ephraim with a penalty 
and Opiang sent off. But they still get through. Uh, the fifth round against Wolves, we have a Phobie and Cavalero for Wolves, but Yao Mario and Hernandez brace for West Ham. Um, On to the sixth round, Man United, fantastic result against Man United. Lanzini and Yao Mario with an 89th minute winner after Rashford equalised in the 71st minute. And they did really well. And I've just noticed they've got Christian Pavon there. That's a fantastic signing. The guy from the, the winger from River Plate, I assume, is alone. Uh, and then we have Preston in the semi final. Uh, they did really well to get there. Um, but Anatovic, Pavon again, and Lanzini. So it looks like Pavon's. And they've got Ganso as well. They've got a few loans in. Ganso, obviously, the old school um, wonder kid from. Uh, is it River Plate as well? Or is he Sao Paulo? Sao Paulo, I think he was there. No, he's Santos, isn't he? Santos. He was there with Neymar, and he didn't have quite quite the same impact. But the cup final, they got Liverpool, and they lost Salah with two goals and Mane with a goal, and they got one back on the 75th minute. But the the damage was done by that point. But he's had a good FA Cup run. That could possibly be why he's still in the job, because it was a bit of a mediocre season. But let's have a look at the season preview for this season. So what they're expected, because it would be sort of somewhat. So they're expected 8th this season. So I don't know if that's because they expect him to build um, or because that's just where they're expected and he just failed miserably last season. But they've given him a chance because of the FA Cup run. Who knows? Trying to avoid some, looking at some of the transfers down there. But I did just notice that Crystal Palace signed James Wilson. And obviously he was a player that I signed um, when I was the manager on my Crystal Palace save at the start of my channel. Um, well, it seems like an eternity ago now. But they've got the European Football Palace. I'm not too sure why. Did they end up winning the... Europa League, perhaps. I'm trying not to veer. I'm, you know, I'm not veering off on other tangents. Uh, there's quite a lot of European teams this year, but so Wolves came up, Hull have came up, and Fulham Cup. So two out of three of the promotions are correct, and I think one of the three relegations was correct. Uh, I think Swansea went, didn't they? Yes, yeah, Stoke are still there, and West Brom are still there. So doing quite, it's doing quite a good job. But the three promoted teams are expected to go straight back down. Brighton aren't very highly favoured, and Palace, despite the European football, aren't highly favoured either. Arsenal back in sick for expectations. To expectations. Um, notice Chris Palace have got a new manager there, Sir Senel Gunez. Turkish, I imagine he is. Yeah, it looks alright. He could do a good job for them this year. But let's have a look at Pellegrini and see... Well, let's see if he did any staff changes, um, first of all. I mean, I don't know the staff at West Ham so well, so I'm probably not going to know too many, but I mean... It doesn't look too many. Emerson Tom, is he? I imagine he's there already. Not too sure why. He's a Chelsea player and a Sheffield Wednesday player. I don't know why he'd go to West Ham. Let's have a look at him, see if he is new. No, he's been there about a year. He was an Everton scout as well. So, so let's have a look at what their transfers. We'll see, obviously, what they've done this year as well. Going into this season. Sebastian Bastian, 22 million for a 21-year-old Belgian. Big money on a fairly young, uncapped... Yeah, he did okay for Kievo in Serie A. But it's a big big layout on... It's quite a risk transfer, basically. And they've got Rui Diaz. I think he's a player I've looked at a couple of times. I think I looked at him at Shakhtar. He seems to do quite well most places he goes. He's got a lot of goals. He's got quite a good record. Not, not at many of the big clubs. Certainly not in recent times. But he's got his chance in the Premier League now. So it would be actually interesting to see how he did. So we may look, well look at a second season of that. Uh, just a loan out. And then obviously last season they got Ganso was just a loan. Oliveira was a loan. It looks like Pavon was actually a signing. Uh, so let's see how he did. He didn't do too well. They paid two million for the loan privilege. Yeah, not too much say there really. Uh, Oliveira was on loan for Porto. We've had a quick glance at him. Uh, Pavon for 12.5 million raising. He's already worth 26. That's a fantastic bit of business. He didn't do great. Obviously, most of his goals were in the cup by the looks of it. He only got one. I thought I saw at least two in the cup. Strange. But he will be a good signing for them, I think, um, under the right guidance. Uh, a frame was actually a signing. A 28-year-old Cypriot, a winger, from Apoel. Was it Apoel? It was. 1.8 million. Yeah, not amazing. Played for Rangers. And Arsenal. He must have been a youngster at Arsenal. I do not remember him in the slightest. I used to be Arsenal quite a lot of those games back in those days, the old CM days and early football manager days. I don't remember him. Doesn't ring a bell. And then Silva Lopez for 3.8 from Peterborough. And 
I think that's I think that's just happened just now at the end of this season. No, he came in in January. Hasn't figured. Strange one, that one. So, yeah, so Pellegrini, 13th in the league in his first season. Uh, any West Ham fans who are watching this video, drop a, a comment in, in the um, in, in, in my in the video. Let me know, would you be happy with a 13th place finish and an FA Cup final? A good FA Cup run? Would that be a good season for Pellegrini in his first year? Um, obviously, scope to them, mould the team as the years go on. But let me know what you think. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like. Um, sub to my channel while you're here as well, if you haven't already. Um, like I say, any comments other than what I've just mentioned, please do let me know. And until next time, I'll see you later. Take care. Bye.